welcome to Ion Gainesville. I'm Katil Feltz. As the year comes to a close, we're going to take an in-depth look at several city departments, their accomplishments and plans for 2010. But first, the latest news in Gainesville. 30 Gainesville business owners and managers graduated from the Business Police Academy November 17th. Atlanta Falcon Stephen Nicholas was welcomed as a guest speaker. Academy coordinator, police officer Joe Britt, says the class is all about educating business owners on ways to protect their property and how to work with police should a crime occur. And Gainesville Mayor Myrtle Figueres joined just under 100 students and parents from Anoda Elementary who gathered at Green's Grocery in late October for their annual walk to school day. Clouds and rain couldn't stop the determined. Anoda was one of 3,000 schools nationwide participating in the event, promoting exercise and alternatives to carpooling. Gainesville's leadership team has spent this year closely monitoring the effects of the recession and trying to anticipate the needs of the community. In this edition of Ion Gainesville, you'll hear more about the state of the city from city manager Kit Padgett and several department directors. This annual report video serves as an excellent reminder of what one community can do when everyone works together. It highlights partnerships and perseverance in a year marked by rising lake levels and a falling economy. My goal as city manager is to successfully lead the day-to-day -day operation of Gainesville City Government by providing services to our taxpayers as efficiently and effectively as possible. Despite the most challenging fiscal year in decades, I firmly believe we have done our best. We have closely tracked the monthly sales tax reports and as the numbers continue to decline, made severe adjustments including a 5% reduction in every departmental budget, a hiring freeze for non-critical positions, layoffs, and one furlough day per month through June of 2010 for every city employee. We value our city employees and recognize the effect these cuts have on them, but agree this is a team effort. In a time when we could stand still, we are still moving forward. Ground was broken for a 7th industrial park and the construction of the new police department and fire station number one are daily reminders that there's plenty happening in Gainesville. The construction of these projects will forever change the face of our city. Another significant change will be the construction of the privately owned City View Center and a city constructed pedestrian bridge connecting City View to the Georgia Mountain Center. This multi-story development will open the emerging Midtown area in a way that only a project like this could and enhance our already successful downtown. This annual report video provides details on all these projects and clearly spells out how we have endeavored to work as leaders. I hope you enjoy this update from each of our departments. We can only hope that we will soon see a rebound in economy. For now, we will continue to practice prudent fiscal responsibility. On behalf of the mayor, city council, and our employees, I can assure you we will do our best in 2010 to preserve the quality of life we all enjoy in the city of Gainesville. Thank you. Customers of the Gainesville Public Utilities Department deserve an abundant and clean supply of water and that's exactly what we strive to give them every time they open the tap. We constantly work to meet the demands of more than 125,000 customers we currently serve. Like everyone else, we have experienced some record challenges as a result of the drought of 2007 and the downturn of the economy. Water meter sales dropped drastically as we experienced higher costs for electricity, chemicals, and fuel. Despite the challenges, the Public Utilities Department is ending the year in good financial shape. The credit goes to our employees for implementing budget cuts and exercising more cost-effective ways to work. Public Utilities received several awards this year. The Environmental Services Division's Water Conservation Program received the 2009 Fox McCarthy WaterWise Award. Gainesville was recognized for several programs that have a direct impact on water conservation, including rain barrel workshops, captain conservation, the plumbing retrofit program, water conservation kits, and the distribution of low-flow nozzles for area restaurants. The Georgia Department of Community Affairs awarded the City of Gainesville its Water First designation. This designation recognized the City's efforts in the areas of watershed management, water conservation, public education, and excellence in operating and maintaining our treatment systems. The City of Gainesville became one of 13 cities in the state to attain this designation. The Linwood Water Reclamation Facility was named Plant of the Year by the Georgia Association of Water Professionals. The award is given to facilities that demonstrate excellence in the operation and maintenance of the treatment facilities. Though we have done well, we still have challenges ahead. 
After almost 20 years, on July 17, 2009, federal court judge Paul Magnuson ruled water supply was not an authorized use of Lake Lanier. Our challenge in the coming years will be to develop alternative water sources such as the Cedar Creek Reservoir in East Hall and to secure the necessary authorizations for Lake Lanier from Congress. As the government channel for Gainesville Hall County, TV18 increased the delivery of information in 2009 with a significant jump in its production schedule. TV18 broadcast 60 regular monthly programs on Charter and Comcast cable, like Ion Gainesville, Hall County Connection, Good Morning Gainesville, and the Hall County Board of Commissioners regular meetings. The Government Channel brought you live Blue Sky concerts in May and October from Main Street, Gainesville, the annual Memorial Day Parade, and Mule Camp Market. In addition to regular programming, TV18 is front and center when it comes to community ribbon cuttings, groundbreakings, public meeting presentations, and special projects of city and county departments. TV18 programs can also be seen over the internet by logging on to youtube.com. A big part of TV18's magic can be attributed to the many volunteers whose time and talents are priceless. And don't forget the timely and informative 24-7 graphic bulletin board that is the backbone of TV18 and the primary source for government and education news in Gainesville Hall County.